Well, as promised, we are back in Tombstone, Arizona. There are still, well, I should say there are many unexplored areas still beneath the town here. So we're getting back into it. Yeah, check some of those out. There's, we're gonna go back into the Gerard and that area. A lot of unexplored possibilities in those. Um, different stopes going off in different directions. You can feel airflow coming out of, that kind of thing. So it's already getting hot. So we're gonna get underground. Hopefully it'll be a fruitful day. So I'll pick up, well, somewhere when we start going underground. This is where we're going in. Looks pretty nondescript, not a big deal. But I'll tell you what, those lead since it unbelievable miles of workings. And in fact, some of the most extraordinary mines we've gotten into have been through little openings like this that lead into just a labyrinth. It's pretty incredible, actually. We just dropped in through there, making our way down through here. You'll recognize that familiar face. Opens up a bit down there. We're just meandering through. I'm actually glad there are people down there right now for some scale. Opens up pretty well. Look at some of the rock down here. All right, keep dropping down. So here we still have a somewhat intact stairway. It's fairly rotted, but not so rotted that it's not serving some purpose. So for now, it's a cool view, but when I turn the camera off, it'll help us get down there too, which is nice. We're not used to conveniences like this. We just came off the walkway there and have hit this drift level here. We're gonna follow this out to get down to where we wanna go. Still making our way down. Corkscrewing around this pit right here. And then getting over there. All right, this is where we're dropping down next. The underground landscapes here are so cool. Look at these giant slabs we're making our way through. A lot of times it's not even about the man-made equipment you see, it's just the, the landscape or the scenery underground, for lack of a better word. But yeah, I'm referring to the layout of the mine itself. It's like a little classifier right there. We're heading down that way. You see some of the giant slabs that have come down. Still making our way through all these different levels. A pillar right there. Actually, a lot of pillars in here. Some of the big pillar right there. Wow, that light is incredibly bright. That looks precarious given way this whole slab is held up by that little timber. This is one advantage of having a lot of people and that you get a better sense of the scale. When I'm walking through the mine, like now, gob in there. Ah, a little blacksmithing operation here. These gloves are brand new. Oh shit. Backup tin. Let me a spit on it. And the swag <laughs> right there. There's that anvil stand right there. And what we've seen in this mine actually, it's not that they had an anvil, but they were actually using old stamp mill heads. Um, you know, the shoes on the stamps rather than an anvil. And then see an old shovel right there. There's some fuse back there. <clears throat> and the stoop continues. Through here, nice, flat, easy to walk on. That blacksmith stand is back there. And came back here to show you a view of the geology in here. You can see how that just folds over on itself, which is really cool looking. Some more graffiti there. A little drift going off the left there. There's some interesting graffiti over here. I did a math problem on the back right there. See, I'll start at the top, so you math enthusiasts can See, track the formula they were using. Spot for a 360 photo. Okay. Oh, one, our first leads over. And then right, things so are here, dropping to down there. Okay. I was just shooting over there. I told you it was that drift here. This is our first lead 
unexplored area we're gonna check out, see what's down there. And just to recap, that blacksmith uh, site is right there. So, we'll head down here and see what might be down there. The ore right there. Like I said, this is unexplored ground. Look at that banding out there. That's pretty cool looking. Pit right there. This is September. Alright. Carefee. Unexplored ground. I was just looking over there. We'll come to the other side of this winds that actually turned out to be a pit, according to Jeremy. He's coming back up now. Here, I'll come down and do a shovel. That was our first lead. And like I said, just a pit. We need rope So we'll soon be getting on to the next lead. This just ended right here. I'm over that pit right now, down there. Here Donald is Albert, Prince Albert copper, paper, wrapper that, paper right there. It's pretty cool. And they're bringing up what Jeremy found down there. Just check it out. I wanted to show you guys what Jeremy found down that pit. Got a Hercules powder box in good shape right here. Of course, the Prince Albert tin in good shape actually. This is Calumet Double Acting Baking Powder. And then, I'm not going to read you everything on the back, but if you're curious about that, pause the video and you can read it. Chicago, Illinois. Just looking for a date or something, but no luck there. I'll leave that stuff there. And then over here, there's some old newspapers. Again, I'd love to see a date on these, but maybe you can get an idea from the ads and such. Karaoke rum. It's like a cigarette ad right there. It's a little racy for the times when that was published. This, oops, I'll pick that up. Sensation, just good cigarette. Just a good cigarette. Sensation, just a good cigarette. 20 for 10 cents. That gives you an idea how old that is. We just looked down that drift there. Now we're gonna drop down. This area here I showed you before, head over the next lead. We've been dropping down there, coming to the bottom of a stope chamber here. You see some of the stuff down there. And there's a drift, runs off that direction. We're gonna go check it out. That's kinda cool. Got a bunch of holes in the bottom. Thank you. So yeah, it looks like the Seven. Uh, yeah, they, they didn't want the small stuff. Huh. Just wrapped in the leather. Good stuff. Oh, it's Some other stuff over there. Ooh. And then, ooh, lots of dust. Yeah, of course. That's in that Hills Brother coffee can. And some gobbing. More stoping. Up there. But we're going this way, over where those lights are. Very dusty. I just climbed over from there. And something cool here is this drops down to a chute. You can actually see the chute down there. Isn't that cool? And meanwhile, we're gonna keep dropping down that way. We just climbed down this. Jeremy and I, and have gotten to this interesting looking section here. And I need 
put my hand over here for this. Just a cool little looking walkway. There's this, is this another one, but dropping I don't think it goes anywhere. down. Yeah, it looks like it's plugged. Somebody's been down here too because there's a slightly more modern rope. Yeah, that rope is like, um, and actually, do you see that drift that's off to the one side? Uh, look for it. It's on one of the walls. Yeah, I think so. You can so, see track in yeah. it. Yeah. That's a 400 level spur. Okay. So if we wanted to get down that, there's other places. Okay, yeah. But I don't think it goes anywhere. No, nah, it's been explored before anyway, so who cares? That looks, cool. looks back filled there. Oh, the break, yeah. And then over here. <laughs> He's over here. Oh, it's just going off that way. There's some really cool graffiti down there, by the way. Oh, okay. Go check that out. Yep. That's some carbide cans. Looks like they're converted to ore buckets. That's cool. There's some really cool graffiti down there. There's a whole wall full of it. We've got stuff running off all over the place down here. Oh, there's a, interesting. Yeah. It says Walt. Graffiti up there is Walt. Well, and then October Jeremy, 10, 1934. Jeremy went that way. And there's stuff going over there. Where's the, where's the Walt graffiti? You see it right there? Um. It's down below. It's you're up a little high. Guys. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah, it's yeah. right there. It looks like October tenth, nineteen thirty-four. That's cool. I'm gonna climb up there real quick and check that out. Cool. I don't know if I've ever been up there. Climbing up to check this one out. You gotta be sure. You gotta check all of those. Can we go down here yet? Yeah, it's a sub level. Yeah. Is there anything up there? Yeah. Look. Oh, Nah, nobody's been down this yet. Well, there's supposed to be good graffiti down here. Here's a better look at the graffiti. You can see a miner there, single jacking out, a rib right there. Hard to tell what this stuff is. But over here, you can see a train of ore cars. I can't tell if those are miners pulling them or donkeys. It's pretty hard to tell. There's something going on down here as well. Maybe loading an ore, sh ore car. Not easy. It's definitely open for interpretation. This looks like Chinese. I don't know. What, yeah, it does kind of. Of course, it could also be, you know, them loading a wheelbarrow or something. Yeah, it's hard to tell. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, I think that this is the type of person. Uh, yeah, I don't know what this is. I see Vidal. And then there's Vidal again. There's Pete. <laughs> Probably not Chinese writing. This track on the ground here, I've seen only in relation for wheelbarrows. I don't think they had ore cars back here. I think they had wheelbarrows running here. Wheelbarrow track, in other words, rather than an ore car track. Some more graffiti. 1937 looks like. Oh, Tombstone, that's cool. That looks a bit precarious. I had overhead. Meanwhile, we're continuing this way. There's more of that wheel, wheel, I don't know why I can't say that word today. Wheel barrow track here. Very low. This is metal, not wood here. Little backfilled pocket here, and then an ore chute right here. No, it's not plugged actually. That's unusual. There's a look up. That's just backfilled. Front of us there. I am definitely a fan of this wheelbarrow track. That's really rare to see. I like that. I was just looking down that drift there, back 
these ore buckets here. There's an old Portland cement bag here, which is cool. And then we are continuing this way. And it's extremely low, dropping farther down. It's a good workout, this whole mine exploring thing. That doesn't go anywhere. Like I said, the next lead, I gotta keep dropping down. This is kind of funny. Given what we just crawled through, I would agree with that. That was rough getting through there. I mean, that was literally a crawl. So I agree with that sentiment. Fortunately, it's a bit higher now. We just came from that direction and we've got some track now. We hit another drift. I'm gonna go look down here. Really nice track. I can show you where we came down. Death curve. This level alone got about three I wonder why it's called that. A junction right here. There's stuff going back this way. And then there's drift running that way. Yeah. Is this unexplored down here? Yeah, we haven't been down this yet. Cool. Jeremy, of Jeremy's course, gonna, is gonna yeah. Got a chimney. Gonna run down there, doing what he does. The freaking spider monkey. He is. <laughs> Sweet. Did you catch that on film? You can say death in the mine. You can make a genuine clickbait. Yeah, it's a good clickbait video. So that there, we I think that collapsed. Cool. All right, Jeremy's they, in. They drifted around. Let's go and check that out. Jeremy said it was just plugged. So on to the next site. That pit is right there. Continuing down this drift in this direction. Notice this mummified bat right here. Be curious to know how long that's been down here. And then we are continuing this way. Finally stand up straight, which is nice. Good amount of graffiti here. Backfilled there. Some of this we did on the last visit. Not all of it, but some of it we did. Nice little pit right here. It'd be easy to fall down that if you weren't paying attention. Got the uh, black light action going on here. Looks pretty cool. Here. I'll turn on the visible light. Can't even tell there's anything on that. Yeah, thing. you look there, it looks normal. Yeah. But the black light really lights up what's there. There we go. Look up there. That's too far. Oh, the camera's kind of getting that, but oh, not too much. Yeah. All about right there. It likes, yeah, it likes the closer in stuff. There we go. That's all fluorite. Yeah, good stuff. Andrew's holding what looks like normal, just gravel. Doesn't mean anything at all. But then when you kill the light, and illuminate it with a black light. Look at that. How cool is that? That looks amazing. Wow. This, some of this stuff is phosphorescent as well. It will glow in the dark. That's awesome. That yeah. looks really amazing. Yeah, it's crazy. It's it's like a whiter, like a greenish invisible light. And right. Under this UV, it's purple. Purple blue. That's really cool. What does it taste like? That fluorite we're just checking out is right there. And I'm sitting next to another forge here, which is kind of cool. See the old off gassed carbide right there. Some fluorite there. And then we're going to go back and chase some leads that are back this way. We've been coming from this direction. And we're at the next section. That's a lead down to the lower below, below us, which is right here. 
You do a quick meat anchor. Hand line at least for this one. This one's I'll be meat anchor. Pretty hardcore. No features hold on to. So gonna hand line down this. See if it goes anywhere. It looks kind of promising, but you never know. So what we're doing here is Andrew is serving as a meat anchor for Jeremy. He's gonna drop this lead we have here. He's just getting set up now. And then here's a better view. Uh, Jeremy, Looking Jeremy down, we're going. Good? That's yep. vertical, yep. so. Turn your radio on. Yeah, just in case. You turn all the way up. Who what? Air monitor. Air monitor. Yeah, I've got it on my bag. Beautiful. There, I don't think there's any bad here. Okay, you guys good? Yep. Okay. There's only ones on. Knock, hey, knock that shit down right there at your feet. There's only one one area in here that we found bad air. There's nowhere near here. All right, we're going. It's a uh, loaded. Yep. Yeah. It's a wet sulfide area with decomposing bat guano yeah. and water. It's a pretty bad area. There he goes. Apparently, backpacks work really, work really good. Alright, he's out of sight. And there's nothing. Damn! Yeah, yeah, doesn't need to get that far. They're just dead ends or what? Yeah, no, it didn't cause a plug. I don't think it ever went anywhere. Probably just used it for backdoor or some shit. Uh, right. he, he said it's completely plugged. So, so Jeremy's doing a changeover down there. Andrew was saying we fit the leads that he had the lowest confidence in. So got the high confidence yeah. leads coming, yeah, coming up. Coming up. We've walked through some of this before. Jeremy just came from there. I noticed this fin hoe here, or this crude fin hoe, which is pretty cool. We use it all the time in our minds, so nice to see another homemade example here. Next lead is continuing down this drift. There's a little bit overhead. A lot of sub levels up here. Andrew and I explored some of them on our last visit, but there are more to be sure. One We're just getting wrapped up there. I want to show you some of the graffiti back here. And you said there was only like two levels in the thing. So it's like they're smoking a pipe. Walls. So there's absolutely no record of that wind or anything going on so right there. So it's probably uh -huh. it was, well, I recognize some of those words. There was some lawsuits by the patent next to them. Fuck you, uh, something me. We had look we had, working, uh, look out. Then snuff wine, snuffy wine. Dude, there has to be a connection, or there had to be a connection to that lower level. There it is. I can see this being an. It looks like an. Orange. Actually, feels like there's a little airflow down here. Yeah. Another junction up here. See more snuffy. So, so far in the last three and a half, four years, I've had a little bit of a little another junction right here. Not sure where this other lead is. So I won't run ahead too far. Just want to show you some of the features back here. We're on the 400 level, obviously. We're trying to get down to the five. Okay, looks like that just ends right there. So I'm assuming, keep going straight. Like I said, our objective is to get to the five below us here. Stuff running off that way. C C C C C C C C C C C C C camp. It's like a explosive storage right here. Yeah, then we've had the explosive stacked back there. It's a pretty beefy door. It's like it's got an old strap rail on it to reinforce it. A little old ore chute here. It's been abandoned. Leading up to that stoop there. And 
It looks like that just dead ends right there. Continuing through this drift. It's a pretty cool looking chute, actually. Oh, I can't drop in. Still got the gate right here. You don't see that very often, especially with the handle still attached. Nice and colorful through here. I see graffiti. Chang, Changus, gang. Okay. Huh. Got another junction right here. There's stuff running ahead. That way. There's stuff going off that way. And no. It feels cooler back here. No, I definitely feel airflow. There's a chute. Classifier. There's a classifier he's talking about. That goes up a way. There's an ore chute. And then that's blocked off right there. It's an open chute. Is the chute open? Yeah. No blockage. Look at that. I think I know where this, <laughs> this might be the one we looked down. Nah. That wow. oh, just ends down. back that way. While I was looking back there, Graham found this sketching of a timber set, which is pretty fancy. Looks like 1930s paper. We just looked down that way and it was coming out and noticed the progressive message here. Love, love. We're continuing this way, and this is obviously a very highly mineralized zone. There's a closer look at it. You see a vein of something running through there. The ore bodies are generally very crumbly. And you can see that here, with all the material is sloughed off. Actually, not just ore bodies, just say highly mineralized zones are generally very crumbly. And like I said, you can definitely see that here. Another ore chute up there. And we're just continuing down this way to get the next lead. Obviously, just some moisture here, given the rust that's going on. Drift going there. Veterans Hospital, except it's misspelled, but who cares, right? Yeah. Don't know what that is. Yeah, why is Can't there read no that. Maps? Yeah, maps. Oh, he does? Nah. We're checking this out here. We're going to the Veterans Hospital. I need to go pick up my prescription. You guys missed me scaling that wall back there. Did you go up this? No, oh. you can't go up it. You could go up the chute. You can lift that gate out. Huh. Nah, that's a no-go. It's yeah. vertical right there. Okay. The never mind. There's a beer. <laughs> Oh, the ice. Actually sounds really good right now. It does. We'll have some beers this evening. Yes. Yes, we shall. It is very hot. I know you guys can't tell on whatever screen you're looking at this on, but it is very warm down here, which is an experience we're not used to underground. A junction here. Anyway, like I was saying, it's an experience we're not used to underground. Normally it's very cold, but it's warm down here. And then we're scouting this out here. Going up? Might be. See where it goes. Jeremy's checking that out. So we're gonna look at this graffiti here. Uh, that gentleman is extremely well endowed. And then there's a tiny, very well endowed guy. Going into the whispering eye. Oh yeah. Lots of endowment here. 
I got your knee for you. What is that little creature? Devil creature right yeah. there. So it's going somewhere. Um, we, there's another way we can get into that sub level later. If you guys want to do that, we have time today. Well, if not, we can do it tomorrow. Oh, look at that. I didn't notice that. 1935. I got your poster. There you go. That, that was a no-go? <laughs> hey guys, look at this. It says Link. Little penis. Well, did you see the oh, wow. gigantic penis over here? That's funny. What was up there, Jeremy? What was up? Wait, is this vertical? You can do it? Or? Did you take that shit? 50 foot. Yeah. There's a US Veterans like Hospital. Okay. Oh, you, you couldn't get up it? I, What'd you maybe. say? Would you ask? Yeah. Uh, nope, come back down. Did you take okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. We were just checking out the That's naughty graffiti right. back there. And continuing on. Tell you ride. Something Enterprise. The well educated man. Yep. Oh, I like it when I do this. 1954. Tell you ride Colorado. 1941. I think that style of the video looks cool. Lots of dots. 1909, whether you want to that one accurate. 1942. Best car. 1935. 1934. Yeah, I think this number. The whole ass thing. Shit. Open moves. Um, that's like that. We can take this timber, set, set it over. Yep, perhaps. 242. Yeah, I don't know if I trust that. Is this a. Uh, this is a lead. Oh, no, this is pretty good. This is an interesting looking lead. Look at all the levels down there. Look at that. Yeah, look at all the levels down there. Look at this little down thing. Another view of that lead. But over here, it's, it's, it's in a tape. It doesn't go anywhere yeah. back here. Well, I wouldn't trust Got some it. dots yes. right there. Just dead ends right here at this ore chute. And this runs up actually. Quite a way. Probably it's up some of those slub levels we've checked out in the past. But Andrew might have been up there. But where he hasn't been is down here. Checking for airflow. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. That's looking down the lead. I'm go check out. And then this is back where the hoist would have been. You can see all the grease here where the hoist would have sat. You can see the, the lines, the grease spatters right there from where the wheel would have flung up the grease as it was pulling up the, the loads. Austin just found a shirt here that was crumpled up in the dust. And you said it said what on the label? Styled by CMO Sanforized Shrunk. Huh. I have no idea who old that will be. Not 1800s, obviously, but. No, probably like 40s or 50s. Looks pretty old. Yeah. Put it on. I want to try. Style it, yeah. Yeah, It's just like ripping. <laughs> There we go. Oh yeah. Wow, you got clothes for dinner tonight. Styling. Yeah, got a hot we'll, date. We'll go to a formal dinner tonight, for sure. There's no sleeve on the other side. Oh well, it looks good on you, man. <laughs> We're all rigged up. Jeremy's getting ready to drop this. Take the obligatory picture first. Let's look at the rigging. Right. And then we got a secondary right back here. I would just like to note right now that the rungs weren't breaking. The nails were shearing off and the entire rung was falling out. Oh, oh, there. It's good stuff. Mm. I'm going to sit on this to stay flip around and down. You want my fat ass on the other side? No, oh, you're, you're caught. Your prussic's caught. There you go. This is pottery. Right, Jeremy. Now this is pottery. I'm confident in your abilities. It's working. It's I'm working. Glad you are. <laughs> yeah, I know probably nobody else is, but uh, All right. There's a bunch of haters. Drop them down. Bunch of haters. You got the radio? Yep. 
Turn the volume Rope up. Rope behind your back. The other way. Cancel. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Are you going down the ladder or just not? Uh, I'm going to use rope and probably just, you know, just brace boogie. myself on it. Yeah, just you are going to have some tension on your auxiliary. Okay. You're all wrapped around you, too. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to migrate pop, that? Pop that over your head, but... Yeah, the, the tail. So, yep. yep. There you go. I twist myself. I think I might have... Actually, I want to keep it on that side. There. Yep. Very nice. That's pod racing. Yeah, this is pod racing. We got a sub level right here. Do this try. This track even, huh? Uh, I got a bucket. Second might be the second sub level right down below me again. Mm -hmm. There's a bucket. You, got, like, you said a bucket. Yeah. 30 feet in between levels. Nice. That's promising. Yeah. Looks like we awesome. might all be dropping this. Yeah. yeah. We just roped down this winds here. There's our rope there. I've gotten down to this platform. There's that cool ore bucket right there. Those boards are really rotted, so you got to be careful there. And this looks very promising. There's a section leading up that way, and this seems like virgin ground. So get up there and start checking that out. I was just videoing down there. I've climbed up here, and you can see there's a little outlet here because there's a trestle coming out here and a drift running back that way. Lots of dots, tracking ore car loads. Some uh, survey marks looks like. So I'll climb up on this trestle, start making my way back there. Climbed up through that trestle. There's an old wine bottle there. Looks like it was repurposed as a water container. You can see the cord, -like cord right there. They would have attached their, their belt. Got some cool mineralized stuff right here or should just to say cool minerals but even better we can head here check this out we've got ore bucket sitting on a flat car here this is obviously what they're hauling out these buckets with and then they oh wow look at that look at those drill bits inside there Oh, this is so cool. Oh, there's an old rotted windlass right there. Another ore bucket here. This is another time capsule, you guys. This is awesome. The drift keeps running back that way. I'll check in a minute. I'm just geeking out on this stuff still. My friend's footprints right there. Looks like this drops down some more. We'll check all this out. Little cubby hole right there. All bits of scraps of metal in there. Man, this is so cool. That flat car and windlass right there. And the floor back on top of it. What a great scene this is. Check this out, you guys. How cool is this? That'd be a great thumbnail picture right there. That's awesome. Oh, just noticed the graffiti there. I can't remember if I saw that before or not. Oh, that's great. I like it. That was definitely worth dropping down that section for. So there are the ore buckets and the windlass and the flat car. Still just completely in love with that scene. But we've got this section behind us to check out. It's not look easy to get through. Nice mineralized zone right there. Little pocket up there. I don't 
don't know if I can leave the camera on and get to this or not. This might be a crawl. Okay, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to crawl over to there, so I'll pick up over there. This just gets better and better. Just crawled through there, and we've come to the stope chamber here. Check out this old wheelbarrow. This is awesome. Wheel's gone, but you can tell that is an old one for sure. Some barrels and buckets down there. Looks like some, yeah, some single jacking drill bits down there. There's stuff running off in different directions. Oh, there's another drift going back that way. I'll go check that out in a minute. First, I'm going to take a closer look at this stuff. There's something caving way down here. See that hole opening up there? See the rubble at one time completely cover that, but it's slowly collapsing down that hole. There's wedges and very colorful rock down here. I hope that's coming across on the camera, how colorful that is. Looks like this level, oh wow. Yeah, this just keeps dropping down all through there. More of that white colored rock there. I think I don't want to start dropping down levels until we finish out this one though, so I will go look down that drift there past this cool wheelbarrow. Headed down this new drift. Pretty rough ground back here as you can see. They were doing all this work by hand. They didn't have war cars back here obviously. There's a classifier in front of me there. Some gobbing and really cool mineralization. Look at this. It's almost unreal. See how that vein is just kind of hanging there? That's crazy. And it's just really powdery rock right here. See how powdery that is? Huh. Very interesting stuff. Probably very unstable stuff. But it sure looks cool. More, I think I passed through over there before. Pretty geologically unstable in this section. There's one of my friends right there. See the create a pillar here of the rocks. And then all kinds of interesting features and layout. How's that look down there? It's oh, eh, like a stoked out area. It loops back around. Is it worth going down there or? Not this way, you probably want to go back the other way. Oh, I came through the other way, so. Where the windlass was? Yeah. Yeah, yeah this loops right back into it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you guys spared me the effort. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Too. Oh, I can tell. The yeah. layout of this is nuts. It's just a Swiss cheese. yeah, Swiss cheese is right. This is that stope those guys are climbing up out of. And you said this connects around or the section back there? Yeah, it just goes, goes up and drops down. There's a, there's a classifier screen and kicks back over to that uh, the spot where those uh, ore car wheels are. Gotcha, okay. Good stuff. Yeah, this is nuts down here. We just looked down there. I'm back in that chamber with a wheelbarrow. And I was going to go down here, this section, but Jeremy followed it down earlier and said it just terminates in a sump underneath the wooden platform uh, that we roped down to where that war bucket was. So I think this one is wrapped up, but more than worth it just for that scene with the flat car and the ore buckets and such. So, very happy about that. Oh, those are those single jack and drill bits. 
I was talking about.